Hi guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I grew out my pixie, super, super short hair to below my shoulders in a year or less and how I think you can likely do it too with a couple of my tips. So I wanna give you a little bit of background on my hair. I've kind of always been obsessed with it since I was in middle school and my best friend showed me my first straightener, one of those old Conair straighteners. That I started dyeing my hair when I was 15, a freshman in high school. I was obsessed with Britney Spears. I mean, kind of still am, and I really wanted her blonde hair, so I begged my mom to take me to the salon to get some highlights put in, and from then, kind of the hair beast was born. I have always had an obsession with changing things up, wearing my hair straight, wearing it curly, dyeing it brown, keeping it blonde. Almost two years ago, it was December of 2013, I just had uh, something come over me and I decided that I really wanted to cut all of my hair off. Yes, my hair that I had been obsessed with since I was in middle school, I was gonna cut it all off and rock this really cool edgy hairdo. So I went ahead and went into the salon, um, asked my colors to dye it as white platinum as possible because I knew I was going to be getting it cut off. So prior to me actually committing to this pixie hairstyle, I had that summer, I had um, done my hair in ombre, and then I went back to blonde, and then I went a little blonder, so the ends were really, really fried, so fried that my ponytail was probably as big as a small pencil eraser. Eraser. It was really, really small, so it was in bad shape. It was uncontrollable. I knew that I needed to do something, so kind of being um, sporadic with the pixie actually worked out in my benefit so that I could go ahead and grow that mess back out. So I got it cut. In in December 2013 absolutely loved it but I did feel like I had to kind of dress differently and wear my makeup a little differently it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be so when she cut it off um, I remember the stylist being like holy crap girl you have super thick hair and um, I kind of forgot that I had thick hair because I had abused it so, so bad. Um, so she had to do a lot of thinning just to get it to lay right. So fast forwarding a couple months with this awesome blonde pixie haircut, I was just kind of like living this new character, just really feeling it, loving it. And um, like I said, my hair was dyed platinum. So um, my stylist who I've been seeing since I was 19 years old, she lives an hour from downtown Chicago or her salon was. And so I had to keep going back there just to do these touch-ups on my roots and I was going to a chain salon at that time so she told me just to go to the same salon downtown Chicago that they were really great stylists down here and just ask them to go ahead and cover up my roots for me so this is where things get messy with my pixie cut I didn't I did that I did her recommendation went and the guy actually fried off a big chunk of my hair um, and when I went to actually style my own hair, it took me well over two hours to just blow it dry because it was so damaged, like kind of sticky and just like horse hair. And I tried all these treatments and nothing was gonna fix it. So I went back to him and he told me, unfortunately, he could not do anything awesome and that my best bet would just be to dye it brown. So I don't know why I was ever talked into doing this. So not only did I have a pixie haircut, but I had a dark chocolate brown pixie haircut for months. And I remember just going through like almost an identity crisis. Like this is not me at all. A cool blonde edgy pixie was one thing, but a dark chocolate brown pixie was something completely different. So I finally found a girl in Chicago um, because my stylist wouldn't even touch it. She was like, it is so damaged, you have to just grow that out. Um, but I was determined, so I found a girl at Salon Blonde in Chicago and she did three series of color corrections to my hair and she got it back a pretty good shade of blonde. But by that time it was pretty damaged again and I had, I guess this was in March of 2014, so I had my pixie for what, like four or five months at this time, four months. Um, and so I guess it was probably down to my chin at this point. So, um, you know, I rocked it for a couple of weeks. It was really hard to manage. I kind of just kept putting product in it to make it look not frizzy and damaged. And then in June, I went ahead and did my final big cut. And ever since June 2014, I have been growing out my hair. And it's been really interesting at times. Lots of hats have come handy. But overall, I've just tried to embrace the grow out process. And it has gone by so fast. So I wanted to share with you five things that worked for me.
with growing out my hair. So literally my hair, um, I could barely tuck it behind my ears. It was so short. The front of it kind of swooped over my forehead. Um, and so that was where I started. And actually in June, my hair was a shorter pixie. It was like a shaggy long pixie, shorter than the original time I had cut it. So it was kind of like a wake up call. So there was a long way of growing to do. So the first thing I did was in that, that June, I went ahead and I got, gave it a fresh cut. If it had been damaged, it would have taken such a long time to grow out. And when it would have gotten to the length it is now, it would have looked so just like ratchety. So that's definitely my first pointer is go ahead, get your hair cut to a healthy length and grow it out from there. Secondly, this is gonna kinda seem backwards, don't cut it all the time. If you go ahead and grow your hair out from a healthy state to begin with, you are not going to have to cut it all the time. I can hear hairstylists all over cringing that I'm even saying this, but it's true. I literally cut my hair every three to four months instead of every eight weeks. When your hair is so short, like those extra couple of weeks really do matter. And so that's what worked for me. I would go in, I would get the back of my hair trimmed because I was definitely getting that weird pixie grow out mullet look. Um, lots of hats came in handy during that time. Then this sounds a little weird, but I stopped washing my hair all the time. I obviously still showered. Come on, I'm a personal trainer and I'm obsessed with working out, but I stopped literally taking shampoo and washing my hair all the time. I would stretch it as far as possible. What used to be a two-day hair wash for me with my hair being completely soft and just greasy and disgusting has now been stretched to sometimes a five or six day. I know that might sound gross, but I do not need to wash my hair all the time. It has completely helped aid in recovery of my hair and it's helped it grow faster. It doesn't fall out as much. So definitely try to give that um, a go. It might be a little hard in the beginning, if you're someone who washes your hair every day, start trying every other day, then push it to every two days and every three days, and it'll definitely work for you. You will feel that like greasiness, just put a hat on, take some dry shampoo, that was my best friend, put it up if you can, put a headband on. Whatever you need to do to stretch out that shampooing is going to work, it worked for me. Next, my I have a really good diet and I drink a lot of water. I'm not sure if this actually helped me grow out my hair, but I'm pretty convinced. I eat a lot of green veggies and I drink maybe a gallon of water every day. You just have to think about all of those. Think about your hair almost as a plant. It needs those nutrients to grow. So same thing like, you know, with your hair, I definitely focused on a very healthy diet, um, especially being a personal trainer. And um, it just has seemed to really aid in the complete recovery of my hair. It is so thick. It's almost too thick. The other day I complained about how long it took me to blow dry my hair. I never thought that I would hear that day again, but here it is. Um, so yeah, definitely a healthy diet and guzzle that water. It's gonna help just, you know, make your skin look better. And also what I'm assuming it's going to help with your hair recovery and your hair growth. And lastly, um, I wanna talk about the vitamins or supplements that I actually did use. So the first thing I used was a high, um, dosage of biotin. So I used uh, 10,000 MCGs um, and it definitely, um, it says promotes carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism, hair, skin, and nail health. I completely agree. I had used a 2,000 MCG before and then a 5,000 and I boosted up to 10,000. I didn't notice any weird hair growth elsewhere, um, just on my head. So, and then come um, last January, January 20. 15, my hair was probably right under my chin at this point, and I went ahead and switched over to a pre and postnatal um, vitamin. I used the one by First Response. It's a multivitamin gummy, and um, I got it honestly because it's a gummy, and it's just like this little bit of treat in heaven for me in the morning. I take two of them. Um, at the same time, every single day, I've been on them since January, and honestly, since January, my hair has just, I mean, gotten so long. It's well past my collarbone at this point. Um, and like I said, it's just super thick. There's not a lot of breakage, and I do highlight my hair, and I really have not had any problems. Um, so right now, I'm completely happy with where my hair is at. I can't believe it's grown so fast. Um, my goal is to literally grow it down the middle of my back. Um, we'll see once we get there. But I have naturally kind of wavy, curly hair, and when it gets longer, it's a little bit easier to style it that way so that my hair doesn't go into like 80s fro style. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any 
any questions about anything else that I did, drop me a comment below or feel free to email me. Also, if you have a chance, please visit my blog. It's dumbbellblonde.com. I have a lot of nutrition recipes on there and fun workouts for you to try. Thanks again for stopping by and we'll see you soon.